And back at Sun Life Stadium, getting set for Clemson and West Virginia. This guy's been one of the great interviews pre and post game throughout the season. Dabo Swinney standing by with Lisa Salters. Thank you, Mike. Dabo, well, you have said for too long the Clemson football program has been wandering in the wilderness. Now you've wandered into the Orange Bowl. What does this moment right now mean to you? Well, three years ago when I got this job, we started a journey to try to get this program to the BCS. So it's a great step. We're up and walking. We got to go finish tonight. You've also said that this ain't going to be a six to three game. What kind of game are you expecting tonight? Well, I, I don't think it'll be six to three, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be a defensive game. Hopefully when this thing's over, people are going to be talking about the Clemson defense. That's what I'm hoping. Thank you very much. Good luck, coach. It brings Sharon Peak, the freshman in for Clemson. Here's Ellington up the middle, breaking free. One man to beat, Andre Ellington. Going to go the distance. Touchdown, Tigers. See that 4-4 speed of Andre Ellington exploded through the hole. Nobody's going to catch him. Chandler Catanzaro has the extra shot point. point. This receiving for him. It's his second down. Smith middle going to be caught. Devon Brown racing to the 30. And tied up there, 32 oh, but first it might down be a yards. speed tempo out of the huddle as well. Also, John, you know, that far hash, that hash close to the West Virginia sideline, they can substitute a lot quicker than Clemson can. Smith getting it out of his hands, right back to the line of scrimmage. Was Bowie marked down? He keeps going. There's no whistle. Bowie made a play if it stands up, similar to the national championship game last year with Auburn. Yeah, Rashard Hall here. If he comes down on Hall and no body part hits the ground, he can keep going. Wow. The hand doesn't count, so you watch here. And it looks like no body part came down, and he kept it. Sean Alston. Sometimes they call him Sean Alston. Remember Mike Alston from the NFL? Good back, powering inside the five, breaking through tackles. Out of the pistol, he's got it. He's got the middle. He's got a touchdown, Mountaineers. That was Alston like. He's done that a lot this year. Tyler Benton Kirk knocks home the extra used, point. Newton used to do for Auburn in short yardage. He's down for Boyd. Middle shot. Watkins in there. Sammy touchdown, Tigers. There's supreme talents on display here tonight. Back to Geno Smith. He's looking for the seam. It's open in the middle again. It's Willie Milhouse. He's down to the 22-yard line. Second and six. Austin takes it quickly from Smith. Seeking the pylon. Austin dives. Touchdown. Tavon Austin just trying to get it in by the pylon. We have to watch a couple of things. On second and eight, Smith. Downfield comes back to the sideline of J.D. Woods. That ball on your hash. Force mistakes. They go again, just flick it forward to Tavon Austin trying to get the edge. He got a nice block to get inside the 15. Austin going toward the goal line is ruled in for the touchdown. That's amazing. That's the third time they've ran the same play. I hesitated on the call. I thought his left foot was out of bounds. Let's get a look here, guys. That's close, Mike, and I think they've stayed in. Let's see. That's good, 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 good. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, all the way in. in. So from the three, they bring Watkins back around from the other side. Just give it to Ellington, pounding up the middle. And the ball taken out by West Virginia back the other way. The Mountaineers took it out of his hands, and Darwin Cook is racing for a touchdown. How about that turnaround? Martin Jenkins, 14 down there for Clemson, trying to communicate the change in the secondary coverage. Smith, will he take off again? There he goes, and he's in. Touchdown, West Virginia. He's been pressed into service with the injury. He's doing a nice job at left tackle. Get there again, but they threw it to the wrong team. Intercepted by the Mountaineers. West Virginia's going for the kill. Smith pocket collapsing over the middle and walking in his millhouse. 
to the one. It is Austin. Wow. To the goal line and in. Another Trayvon Austin touchdown. And what an incredible half by the Mountaineer offense. Beautifully designed plays. Executed to perfection. But well, let's not forget this West Virginia AFC team. West Virginia. Both teams combining for an Orange Bowl record. And this the most points by a half. Or by a team and a half. In the 78 Orange Bowls. From behind Boyd may have lost Eight the years. ball. After further review. The ball was fumbled prior to the They'll get another playoff with Alston to the left and in. A five touchdown quarter by the Mountaineers. This points and a half combined, which also sets an NCAA bowl game record. West Virginia's 49 Five catches, points. 71 yards for the redshirt senior out of Virginia making his final appearance. Now a shot downfield. All in inside the 10 Stay sharp Stedman in the bowl break. There they go working it again. Trying to get in. Got it. Daly, a homecoming touchdown for the Mountaineers. They are really working. <laughs> <Number 17. laughs> I said he looks like Ray Cunningham after that first half. Oh, wide oh, open. Wow. Austin, what a move. Tavon Austin. Give him four on the night. Oh. Oh. The so there's things that we're seeing at the collegiate level now. The pros are starting to pick up. There's good things happening at this level. Play, John. Willie Milhouse on the flip and into the record books. West Virginia, the highest scoring bowl game in and history. Just, really. that Clemson's bowl experience. And Geno Smith has set a new BCS record, and we say this with a smile and a wink. Six touchdown passes in the game. Most yeah, BCS you know, game. Yeah, was was it up. That's what I like. It's it Lyman, Barkley, the left tackle. Guys that can handle the Gatorade properly. <laughs> There's Raider, the other tackle. Set the screen. Set the screen for him and go Old get him. Said, got him. Uh, it's a great moment. Great moment for West Virginia. And they love football there. Just look oh, out yeah. there at those fans, Mike. Yeah. A lot of West Virginia fans that made this trip are still bunched together. They're thrilled with Dana Holgerson and the outcome of this bowl game. Look at those Don fans. Dillon. West Virginia coach for a long time. We're going to get Jeff Castile now. Yeah. Geno Smith returns to Miami where he played high school football with a 70.6 touchdown night. Couldn't script it anymore. Last snap in the books. And if it is the Mountaineers' farewell to the Big East, they do it with a bang. And Dana Holgerson's very unique route to his first ever season as a head coach ends on a very high platform. A bowl record 70 points scored by the Mountaineers. On a night where the team and a lot of the individuals rewrite the record books of one of the oldest and most tradition rich bowls in the sport. Clemson's season will end at 10 and 4. And here's Lisa Salters with the victorious head coach. Thanks, Mike. Coach, 70 points you put up on the board, a bowl record how did you make it look so easy first were you going for the record no and there's nothing easy about that now clemson's a great team they've had an unbelievable year you know our guys just came in and I think 70 points again coach well just you know the seniors have done such a good job all year long they they were put in a bad situation they've been through a lot in their career at west virginia and uh you know they they just wanted to lay the groundwork for where we're headed as a football program and you know, I, th I, I can't imagine it being any brighter than it is right now. I think the future is pretty bright at West Virginia. Thank you, and congratulations to you, Coach. Thank you, Lee. Mike. All right, all you coaches, we clinic out at the Colorado School of Mines. <laughs> it's a great-looking play. A little bit off of Lee Gross Cup's old shovel pass at Utah with a great wrinkle. And performed to perfection on a night as our friend Tony Caridi likes to say, well, it's great to be him. We, we talked about Taj Boy, we talked about the offensive weapons, but I think Kevin Steele's defense will be the difference in this game. They've got some big time players this on the defense. This will be the first BCF front. bowl game where it's a significant margin. I think Clemson beats West Virginia 
and destroys them. You got them big, so does Jesse Palmer, Desmond Howard, Todd McShay, 73% of America's vote. Nobody's picking the Mountaineers. 